Heathrow Terminal 5 on the underground over here. Tomato is bringing us a trolley so we can make our way up and check in. Today's flight is on board a British Airways, I think it's an A320 actually, according to the ticket. We're flying to Copenhagen from Heathrow Airport. Looks like the lift just comes automatically. Well, we're off to departures. Jamaican draft. Yeah. Then I'll take the same. No and then two sparkling waters. Huh? And two sparkling waters. Yeah. So here we're sitting at the giraffe. Right now we're going to have our last British meal. I'm having fish and chips. And I'm also having fish and chips. And we're having half a pint each and some sparkling water before our flight. Which is leaving at. What time was it leaving? 1949, uh, 39. As you can hear, I can never remember the details. Mara is always enjoying the details. I just feel the filming. Anyway, this was my moment in front of the camera. I'll show you the food when it comes. The beer and the sparkling water just arrived. Look at your happy bottle. face. I'm gonna start with some water because I'm so thirsty. Nice bottle. Yeah. We must buy one more for plane to take home. Yeah, yeah good call. Nothing's free on board the British Airways flights. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. So we got the food. Now this is what I call fish and chips. <laughs> A good note to leave London. Pleasant surprise at this airport restaurant. Look at that fish and chips. Tata and mushy peas and chips. Deep fried cod. Vinegar, of course. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Mm. Let's go and put those a look at mine. We have the mushy peas. Generous helping of tata sauce. Lovely looking piece of fish. And some lovely chips. And this meal is from the giraffe restaurant. I guess without tasting it, I can really highly recommend this place. And the fish and chips was just over 12 pounds. Now this was one of the best fish and chips I've ever had. I've eaten a lot of fish and chips in South Africa. Also in London. But this was really enjoyable. Thank you so much. It's a big portion. It's very, very delicious. Mara was fighting to finish hers. I can I'm, finish the chips. I'm more than six foot. We all know about my belly. Yep, it's there. And even I can't help Mara finish that arm full. It was a very, very good meal. Did you enjoy it? Are you enjoying it? It's lovely. It's lovely. It's an excellent British. What's the bad news? Bad news is that we are even a little bit more delayed. So now it's 1955. Of and, and it could get later than that. You know how the airlines do it. It's Brilliant. a piece by piece. I'm still smiling. <laughs> uh, we had a good meal. So as we mentioned before, our flight is uh, delayed. Let's depart from gate A gates. We'll depart A gates. But we don't know yet. No, we're leaving at 7:48 p.m. Here we have the British Airways A380 on its way. And it looks like an A380 is landing just behind him. There it goes. And rotate. Up you go. One Airbus. Up you go. That's it. This is that Tanoi model. What a beautiful view. Look at that.
There you have it, Emirates A380. Gate number finally turned up, it's gate A20. And instructions are to go to gate. Let's find gate A20. So now we're heading downstairs down to the gate area, down to our gate. That's A1 to 12. That's that way. Ah, we go the opposite, okay, so we go the opposite direction. A1 to 12 down there. So we're going to go gate A13 to A23 that way. There's Mara, stay on the right. So our gate is just straight ahead and to the right. So here's our gate, gate A20. Our flight's delayed until 8 o'clock. That's new, it was 1948 just before. It's going to be a late night home today. And we're on our way to the plane. A little delay later and here we go. I can't even see our plane today. I'm red like a beetroot. <laughs> ah, it was quite hot waiting there. We're on our way in to the plane now. Fully booked plane for today. Show a little bit on the sides, there's not much to see outside. It's rather long walk this passenger bridge. under the seat, yeah. Last goes in first, we went a little bit longer when they get ready. Hi there. Here. Yep. Good seat, good window. For a judge. Now we're just waiting for them to load our luggage. I think the leg room's better on this flight. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's not as cramped as it was on the flight from Copenhagen to London. This aircraft space does indeed feel uh, a lot more than when we came on the A319, this is the uh, Airbus A321. Well, look at the safety guard later on during the flight. You're already looking at the menu. The water for the price is by the end. Just water for that. Of course, if you don't want to buy fish up there. No way. Not for the in-flight prices. As this is a busy flight, you will have to store your hand luggage as efficiently as possible. Overhead lockers, do not stow anything at floor level around these areas as they must be kept completely clear for your safety and the safety of the passengers seated next to you. Boarding seems to be completed, but it is very close to completion. So our crew would like to welcome you somewhat belatedly aboard this Airbus A321 flying to Copenhagen, the uh, BA822 service this evening. First off, uh, our sincere apologies that we're running uh, a little late this evening. Uh, unfortunately, this aeroplane has been involved in a few changes this, uh, earlier this morning at uh, Heathrow. Not sending any further delays, uh, we're anticipating uh, being moved off the stand in around five minutes' time. We're just sorting out a final baggage discrepancy and then we should be underway. Thank you very much for choosing British Airways this evening. We'll have you underway just as soon as we can. Appreciate your patience. The captain just mentioned that there will be some turbulence on the way, so we must just keep our seatbelts fastened. Seatbelt fastened. And seatbelt fastened. Oh, look. Mardo has two bath bags. Were they there or did you put them there? They were there. They must know me. So you have the two walls. <laughs> Very turbulent flight, perhaps. Since when do we have two bath bags each? Are they, are they expecting turbulence? But it could will come out. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the 
lost in the luggage being loaded on board. Today's seats on this Airbus A321 are 30E and 30F. F being by the window, E being Maro seat in the middle, and D is the aisle seat. Guess who? Hello, there we are again. Hello, hello. Five days later. Five days later, ready to fly again. Am I looking at the camera or am I looking at the display? I'm sure that you're looking at the display. I can't help glancing over there right now and again. And anyway, we're still to, delayed. I guess you have to check that we are on the fixed. Oh. Well, I didn't have anything to say today. Except we are delayed and we're looking forward to getting home again. We're supposed to leave today at 1855, as you all already know. They promised us that we'll be leaving at 20 past 8. 20 past 8 p.m. You can see now the time is on my trusty pulsar. 20 past 8 and we're going nowhere yet. Airbus 321. Could I please ask for your full attention during this time as it does include some very important information. Could I please ask you to ensure that they are in the flight safe mode as they can interfere with our aircraft systems as the captain and the flight crew are starting up our engines. It's now 27, 28 minutes past 8 and we still haven't left the gate. Cargo door still open. There goes another cargo box. Hopefully that's the last one. It's not a delay. Uh, do appreciate your patience. Unfortunately, it's taking a little longer to find the bags uh, in the rear hold uh, than we anticipated. Yeah, just in the next few minutes, hopefully, they're reloading the, uh, the baggage containers into the rear hold as you'll be able to see if you sat on uh, that side of the aircraft. And we should be underway very shortly. Thank you. Well, Looks like they are done, as he says. Yep, they're closing the cargo door. So we should be on our way soon. Yeah. There goes the cargo guy. And pushback has begun. Thank you, cabin crew. Stand by for our safety demonstration. Think there's a manual demonstration, cabin crew. Thank you, cabin crew. That seats for take off.
Some other language. Se for usado en caso de inju, por favor entrega a triple lu caco a cabine. Anyway, that was the air sickness bag. So have a little peep down through the seats. Now it's time to look at the safety on board card for this Airbus A321. It's of course written in different languages and it's a safety card. We're just going to quickly skip through it. the safety card no matter how many times we fly it's always nice to have this information refreshed before flight and there we have some of the forbidden items on board now let's have a look at the food products on board it's the box and spins on board your in-flight food and drink menu just gonna go very quickly through it let the pictures speak for themselves. Hopefully one can also see the prices quite clearly. Sandwiches. Price there. Something other. Desserts or puddings. Sweets. Teas. Cost of coffees, two pounds thirty. Hot chocolate, three two pounds seventy. The other soft drinks is quite important to know what they cost also. Around a pound eighty. Some juices starting at two seventy. There's up for one eighty if that's probably the water. The alcoholic or some tonics. And we got some. Lemon drink, soda, water, ginger ale, appetizer. Pardon, I'm probably going to have an appetizer today and a water. The price of the appetizer is $1.50 for a tin, and the price of the water is $1.80. $1.80. Some alcohol, alcoholic beverages. There you're looking at about £4.50. Some beers, around about four pounds also. I remember the good old days when all this kind of thing was complimentary on board. It was part of the price. Have a few wines, they look like they're around four pounds fifty also. Sparkling wines, looking at about six pounds. Six pounds. And that was the, the menu. So today's drink, we both thirsty, so we got an appetizer, which was one pound fifty each. I never had one before. You have a blend. I love appetizer. It's a South African drink, or at least it used to be. 
when I lived in South Africa, I had plenty of apple tices. It's so refreshing and delicious. It's like cider, but without alcohol. Yeah, apple. yeah. Nice. It's lovely. Apple juice with bubbles. Apple juice with bubbles. Good old apple tizer. Not much to see out there. You can see the flash on the wing too. I'm not even sure where we are because there's no map service on board this aircraft. Hello there, it's Maxi again here in a little toilet tour video. I'm all red in the head, it's not because I'm losing or anything like that. It's actually I got sunburns in London. Let's have a start with the tour. The basin, two rolls of toilet paper, the flash button, the toilet, two handles to hold it, there's turbulence with some support. There's a baby tray, baby changing table. We've got our dirt bin, some tissues, some hand towels, some tissues here, ventilation, the lock button. We have the handle, it's a folding door, an ashtray from times gone by when we were allowed to smoke on board. Here we have our coat hanger. And lastly, let me show you the space in here. It's very limited. Here's one of the magazines that are in the seat in front of me. I'm not sure whether this is meant for business class or whether it's just in all the classes, but it's called Business Life. I've never seen it before. Let's just skim through it. Yeah. Kind of an idea what's in the magazine. Well, some kind of business articles. Power trips. Does seem very business orientated business focused magazine that was basically it I skimmed through. As with all other airlines, British Airways also has its duty free magazine in flight sales. Speakers, electronics basically, watches, and then come the cosmetics, perfume products, colognes for men. That was the my life shop. Lastly, let's have a look at the British Airways in-flight magazine. This one is called High Life. Arriving in Heathrow information. Arriving in London. Welcome on board. It's been a lot of nice articles as they usually are with a lot of photographs, nice photographs. This should keep passengers busy, particularly on this flight where there are no screens at all. You can't even follow the route on the map. I'm not sure if it's broken down the system it does appear so this was the British Airways High Life magazine. Still nothing to see out there. There's darkness and a whole lot of reflections. Is that you peeping there? Huh? Is that you peeping there? How are your legs doing? My legs are fine. Dandy as always. Mine is sort of. It's bigger aircraft than when we came. It is bigger aircraft. I'm sure it was an A3. Either it was an A319 or an A320, I don't remember. Copenhagen in just a little under 20 minutes' time. Landing in the easterly direction, so straight in the approach this evening. Very quiet uh, air traffic wise uh, on the ground. Reporting temperature of 2 degrees centigrade and a light easterly breeze. The window, of course, on this. Oh, how about A321 is a. Uh, Blind slides down. Nothing like the dream Ladies liner. I'd like to tell you about the charity partnership we have with Comic Relief called Fly and Star. By donating any loose change we have or any leftover foreign currency that you might not be able to use in a few moments, it will be coming through the cabin with a Fly and Star bag. So if you do have any loose change today, please don't hesitate to stop me. Thank you for your generosity. Ladies and gentlemen, the seatbelt signs have now been illuminated, so I will have to ask you all to please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened. No idea where we are. I do believe we're somewhere over Denmark. Good. Now they dimmed the lights, hopefully we can see something. Thank you, camera crew. That's seats for landing. We are now on final approach, I assume. Very 
Santana. where the local time is 25 past 11. You may now make and receive calls as well as use all data services on your handheld electronic devices. I'd like to wish you all a very safe and pleasant onward journey. Thank you and good evening. Yeah, now we're getting close to the gate. <laughs> Copenhagen. Feel the cold, it's colder than London. 